Oh, hello YouTube. Today we have uh, a job here in uh, in Torrance, uh, Rolling Hills uh, area for uh, a little mini excavator driller, similar to the one that we uh, did in Eagle Rock, but this one's on a smaller scale. It's actually the the building the holes for the foundation of the side of the hill here, and it uh, they were about to finish their their last hole when it flipped over, almost similar to the other one as well. It's always on the last hole. This one I have to pretty much, or you can't see it, but there's some lines on the opposite end over there. Um, I'm pretty much gonna boom up, throw my line over there, and start uh, winching it over. So I'm gonna hook up to the to the tracks. There's some D-rings there to the tracks that I'm gonna start pulling with one line there to be able to uh, start bringing it over. And then another one to the to the Kelly bar on top, and start uh, uh, using leverage to my advantage at that point. So they want me to upright it, and then pretty much uh, secure it to the foundation here of the pre-existing home. So let's uh, let's start getting into it. Yeah. Yeah, that's half inch, half inch chain. There's a fifteen thousand uh, working low limit on that one. Yeah. So we tried pulling this with both those big white trucks. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Both of them would burn out. He's taking out the mass hole. Lifted it up about like what? No way. Like five or six. Really? Five, six, yeah. Five, I'll show you a video after. I'll have to bring the other one. The hook's a little too big for that. Yeah, they're both half inch, except this one doesn't have the hook at the end. <laughs> Man, this uh, dirt is soft. Over time. <laughs> cool. And we'll use these right here. And that will come over for that one. Okay, that's that. All right. That's one. So there's cylinders on this one, right? On this one, there's a cylinder? I think so, right? Yeah, that's one. So that means that uh, if I start pulling on that, it's gonna retract this, right? Uh, the orange thing? Yeah. No, there's a pin that's holding it. Oh, I see that, that one, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so then that's good then. It shouldn't go in or out. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll attach a chain on that side then. Uh, but that's gonna happen once I start bringing it over, over a little bit. So that way it uh, gets a little bit in the air and I use leverage to my advantage on this one. Okay, I'll pull it from there. Gonna get another chain, probably smaller than that. Oh, there's a hole there. Oh wow. <laughs> Thank you. 
use my uh, 40,000 pound platinum sling. Uh, if you want the chain, man. Thank you. This brush makes it slippery. You guys want to know the working low limit on this one? That's it. It's a strap, right? But guess how much? Like 40. 40. 40, man. 40. And it's a lot lighter than carrying chain. No, so it has a 7 to 1 ratio, so. Yeah. How many bucks? That one? Probably like 600 bucks, man, for one. They're expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so if it snaps at 7 to 1, 280,000 pounds is what um, realistically will snap the braking strength, you know, but safely to work with, 40. It's a trip on how they make these things now. Alright. That one's there. Okay. I'm just going to run my cables over here and then attach. I'm gonna boom out so I don't have to pull so much cable uh, from uh, from this distance. I have to pull it from over there. So it's pretty far. Um, maybe about 75 feet from here. So I should have enough cable. Obviously, since I'm using my snatch blocks, I have 250 on each drum, so 125. Uh, from this distance out, so I should have a little bit more in the in the drum by the time that I start uh, winching. But at least from this distance, I have to pull it from there, not not too far. How many what? How many like hooking points does it have? Oh, there's a lot of hooking points. Um, obviously, I have my the two main winches, my auxiliaries on top, and then my deck winches at the bottom. So I have six total winches. Uh, but um, when a load gets heavy, obviously we we disperse it a, across a snatch block because at that point you have mechanical advantage two to one. But it also serves a purpose to divide the weight across the two cables. So on a single line, I have 25,000 of working low limit. So um, that's, just to, that's just to distribute the, the weight across the cables and for safe manner. The same thing with those and, and, and all across, so yeah. What happened? Use one? No, I'm gonna use uh, two of them. If you want, just pull it from this one right here, because the other one obviously is hooked to the boom. No, I meant that one. Okay. <laughs> the same, the same one. Yeah, if you start pulling that. Damn. Yeah, there. What happened? I a piece of water right there. Oh. Uh, if you want, you could pull that cable. I'll pull the snatch block. That way it doesn't get too heavy. I 
there's fine. Okay. That's one. Pass me that one, sir. And that's two. Alright, that's one. I could actually uh, probably give you an extension if you want. Will it reach? Because I need to reach over this part. Yeah, because by the time uh, it starts coming over, that part will be a little bit higher. Um, let's go right there. I could get another extension. Yeah, probably a bit better. Yeah, because it's going to come over this. And then we'll leave it loose. Yeah. If I use my other one. One of these uh, covers because it's gonna ride along the top of that, uh, that rail. I'll use that. Shackles already there, so I end up utilizing this shackle. The cops? Yeah. Another fine? No, right? <laughs> All right, go ahead and pull that one through. Yeah, I'll lift it. Okay, a little bit more. That's fine. Okay. Do you need this little mat thing? Yeah, I do. That way it covers uh, the strap on top. That way it doesn't slice it. That's the only thing you got to watch for is the, mm -hmm. the edge protection on these, but they pretty much last forever. Okay, go ahead and pull it. I'm gonna have to get another one for that one, but yeah, that one goes through. Cool. And then the hook, we hook up to that. There you go. I'll bring him out and then I'll uh, adjust the height and everything. Oh yeah, enough cable. Yeah. Let's do away with this one until we get a significant pull on this one. Because once it fixes, it's going to want to slip over. So let me. Uh... Put that line over? No, it's because what happens is that the angle of it <laughs> comes over. But once this comes over this way, it's gonna wanna, it's gonna wanna fix itself. So by that time, then the line should be on this side. So I'll just hook up this last one at the end. Once I, uh, I start yanking on this side. Okay, you lift up the, the snatch block a little bit. 
Ready? There it is. I'll attach this one at the end. Let's go right there. Cool. All right, let me start pulling on this. If you want, shine the light on it if you want. Did something shift over there? Uh, no, it's just the head coming off the ground. Okay. Yeah, we might not even need that one, to be honest with you. The only thing I might suggest is getting another... Uh, keep going, don't listen to me. Let me get those uh, straps under them. I'll never get them out. <laughs> Just in case. Just pull it. Well, just pull it down. Um, no, I'll come down because it already uh, spiked at the bottom. If anything, I would have it for control. Up top. Uh, yeah, just in case if it wants to come over. Okay. So that's why I left it here, but um, I'm gonna have to pull it across. <laughs> I'm just going with this one just to get it tight. All right, it's going to slam a little bit. Nice. It'll upright and then I'll start winching on this side. Is it close to that little cinder block wall there? Yeah. Okay. That's good right there. That's good right there? Okay. Go ahead and start strapping it off. Strap it. Strap it. wall. I suggest you uh, strap it is uh, from the top. You at least uh, you at least need one high point. That's where all the weight is at. 
unless you guys could uh lower it and lower the center of gravity because that's uh it's either gonna work against you or for you you attach line there it, it's all the all the leverage point at that i just don't think we can start it with the floater you got nothing for it well so you said strap up from the very top? Um, you could use one high line because that's pretty, gonna, pretty much going to hold up the, the thing from toppling over. Unless you want me to release tension and see how it reacts. There you go. Oh, there. That's smart. The winch table is what we usually use to winch it up now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's smart. There you go. If you can, can you put some preload like... Yeah, of course. It, of course. We'll once just have them strap it, and then let it go and then, yeah of course so if it's strapped we can walk it over this way as soon as we get it running and whatever it be at the time okay but for now if i can get it strapped up pretty decent uh-huh i can live life okay <laughs> let me preload it then okay it's preloaded You guys need light, man? Well, I'm just trying to figure out where the light is going off at. So I just like right here. You think that's strong enough? Oh, no. How about that one? Is that metal? Or is that a piece of wood? That's wood. Right? Yeah, I assume probably some of this right here, no? Yeah, that would go. Let's go to all of these. Yeah, that's the strongest point that's right here, no? That's right here. Grab me one of those brush straps and then I'll tuck this off of it and tighten it. Are you guys gonna use chain binders? Uh, we don't have any. You guys don't have any? Okay. Still gonna go to the gym, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you got you wanna you release some pressure? Right? Sure. Okay, because the one at the bottom was already released. <laughs> so that one's already released. Perfect. It's the one at the top. Yeah, that's it. I'm I'm pretty much no no tension on mine. I'm de yeah. Are you confirmed with that? You good? Okay. Yeah, it's pretty much on top of the edge, so it should hold. He's free, basically. You call them and they show up for free. It's, it's basically like, it's like AAA. Yeah. And like AAA for exactly. Sketchy situation with your truck? Uh, oh yeah, there's a lot of times. It happens. I mean, you could prepare for the for the absolute worst, you know, but. Yeah, I got tighter. Well, he released. Yeah, I released everything. What happened? 
How long are you running the engine? How long am I running the engine? Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty much done already. I'm just putting it away. Okay. Cool. Just because it's late. Yeah. yeah, I understand. I'm sorry. Yeah, I apologize. Sorry about that. Alright, Tom. He's cool. He just asked me how long am I running the engine. I said, I'm, I'm done already. Just give me about like 20 minutes. He's like, okay, that's fine. He's like, it's kind of late. I'm like, yeah, I understand. I'm sorry. I told both of these guys, I was like, it's going to be 45 minutes. And yeah. I don't know where this guy is. Who he came from? Probably. The street. Oh, probably. That's right. Yeah. Is that just your helper axle? What happened? Your helper axle? The pusher on this one? Gotcha. Yeah. So it's just a pusher so I can shorten up the wheelbase to get into tight areas. Yeah. 